Hi, so today here I'm going to go through how to set up a DNS forwarder on your Synology NAS uh, device. So right now I have my desktop here pointed to 192.168.2.7 for my DNS server. So let's go check it out. Can we ping Synology.com by typing in the domain name Synology.com? The answer is no. But I know that this is connected, so we'll just ping a very simple address. And there we do. So I do have access to the internet from this device. So to set up a uh, DNS forwarder, all you have to do is go into Pack Center. We'll go to All. And then we'll search for DNS. We'll install DNS and we'll wait. Right, so as we can see, I successfully install it right there so it's clear and now I'm not going to access it from here uh, because you probably wind up accessing it from this you know we can slide this down over here if you want to or we can remove the shortcut here and we can just access it from here alright so now we want to create what's called a resolution what uh, Synology is calling a resolution server here and we now pick up um, the IP address that was configured, or in this case a DNS server that was configured uh, when I set up the device uh, to add the IP address. Now that can be found underneath control panel, network, network interface, LAN, and we hit edit, and here you can see my uh, IP address for the Synology server, subnet mask, the gateway and the DNS I selected. Alright, so now that's where that IP address came from. So now all we got to do to create a forwarding DNS server is hit the magic enable. Now we're going to do source IP address here. I'm only going to allow a class C, in other words for this network here, dot zero to 255 to access the Synology for DNS dips. We go here we have to create, we select subnet, and now we put in the network address of my sub subnet, and then we put in the mass. This is a class C slash 24. Uh, that is completely wrong. Let's go back here and do it the correct way. Dots. There we go. Now that's an actual class C now, so we'll go ahead, hit OK, hit the magic word finish. Now we can put in the other um, uh, IP address of this external DNS server. There we go. Now I'm going to keep it forward first, so this will tell. The Synology to say, hey, when when uh, when it looks for Synology.com is to hit these servers and um, and get a return IP address. So now we're gonna hit the magic apply and see if it's done. Yep, it's done. Let's just close out of here. It's in giggles now. Let's go back here. So we know we have access by just doing the IP address. Let's see if we can ping Synology, and, well, that's different. Uh, so we have here 100% uh, packet loss, so let's see someone else here. Did I spell it right? We can do this. All right, so we know we got the Googles. Uh, let's do someone else here. Uh-huh. And Synology must not be allowing us to ping. 
That's fine. So we see we have a whole bunch of other things. So we're doing good. Now we can ping. Now let's uh, demonstrate again by removing it. So we'll go to application, main menu, the DNS. Let me go to resolution server here and now let me disable it. Hit apply. Wait. Let's pop up our thing. And let's see if we get a um, unknown host. Well, we know about that. Unknown host. Unknown host. So let's go back to the DNS server. Enable it. Wait again. Source IP still there? Yep. Go back. Yep, it's working. There you go. Actually, should do a dig so you can see the time difference. All right, you can dig. You can see the times dif difference. So let's do dig. Um, office.com. Let's see if it uh, does do the forwarding. So, so what do we have here? So it took 33 uh, microseconds. Let's do it again. Now we see it shot it down um, slower. Now we got zero because it's caching it. So there you go. It's working.